Hello there guys, this is Andy coming to you live from andyachiga.com and I'm grateful to see you here today. And today is episode number eight on how to use the various traffic sources to generate leads and traffic to your blog, to your website and to your office. Thank you very much for watching. By the end of this video, you would have learned the basic steps on what you can do to start your own podcast station for online marketing or for your home business. So let's get started straight away. Now, if you like this content at the end, please feel free to subscribe. I would love that subscribe. And let's meet, visit my blog, andyatsuga.com and let's take you know this to the next level. So first things first. To start with your podcast, before you start using podcast at all, you want to make sure of the first thing. And the first thing is you need to decide on the niche that you want to be in. So it's not great just podcasting. It's important to know the niche that you're going to be podcasting in. By that, what I mean is if you're in network marketing, you don't want to do a podcast on network marketing. You might want to do a podcast on the industry that your company is based in, maybe healthcare, and maybe focus on one sector depending on how big and how huge it is. So it really much depends on which particular kind of industry that you find yourself in, or it depends if you're not in the network marketing or home business industry and you're looking to target certain customers, you want to find out what are the needs and problems of those customers you can address in your podcast and use that as your main niche to create your podcast station, which is really cool. So first things first, sit down and decide what you want to use for your podcast and how you want to use it and the people you want to target. Now, the second thing is you want to go and set up your podcast. Now, setting up a podcast and starting a podcast is not so difficult. To be very honest, I'm new at it myself. I learned it from one of the best podcasters I know um, in my circles. So she taught me how to set up a podcast in a very simple steps. And the resource I'm going to share with you, it doesn't mean you have to use the same. There's quite a lot out there. Go out there on YouTube and type in podcast station or podcast host and you will find a few hosts that will come up. What I use is SoundCloud because that is what, like I said, a person I learned podcasting from, that's where she actually generates, that's what she uses. And I find it very simple, it's easy, record my podcast and upload it up onto my SoundCloud. Now, after you've done that, there are, there are actually better ones out there, but then it really much depends on how deep you want to go with podcasting. So you might want to do your review, want to do your checks and everything to make sure that it, it will fit your need. Now, step number three is you need to decide on the content distribution channel. You need to decide how people will get to know your podcast. Because when you got started on podcasts, it's, it's a podcasting. It's just like using it just like blogging it takes it's a passive kind of marketing it's something that you use to brand yourself first before you generate leads so you might want to go out there and and think about where can i share my podcast for people to see now the last one i did i shared it on facebook and i shared it in some a, a few facebook groups right and it went okay I'm also going to share it on Pinterest. So there's a few distribution channels you might want to decide on. Now, the good thing about it is that so long as you decide, you want to make sure that you stick to it and make it consistent. Consistency is key. You create your podcast, you go out there and you find the channels and distribute in those channels so people can come to you and listen to your podcast or download your podcast. So podcasts are growing in trend. So if you want to really look into it, you might find some great resources online. This is just to point you in the right direction. And step number four, which is the last step, is to target and follow influencers. This is so key. It works just like Twitter. It works just like any other social media platform. You want to find the right people that are in your niche doing very well with podcasting and follow them. One, it does two things. One, it allows you to know exactly what they're doing and how they're doing it. And then two, it also allows their followers to see you as well because you get to see their followers. So it, it's, it allows you to interact with other people on the channel. So it's a great way to make sure that you get your podcast out there, get people knowing about your podcast. And that is as simple as that. When you start, this is what the recommendation was for me. When you start, you can start with one podcast a week not so many you just want to focus on one and then as time goes on you're building the momentum and start going 
for me the way i use it i use it to back up my content my blog content so when i create a blog content i go in create a podcast and put it in there it's just another channel for me to create extra traffic and extra leads now if you enjoy this please visit my blog andyachuga.com for more tips and tricks on how you can actually build your business on the internet please click the link above or below. We've got some great resources for you. There's one channel I use to help me build my business online and learn how to be working effectively using my business on the internet. So if you want to learn more about us, please feel free to subscribe to this channel so that every time I come up with great content, you'll be one of the first people to hear it. Thank you so much for watching this. I'll see you in episode nine. God bless you. Have a great one. Bye.